Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored Quick Looks video. And the subject of this video is the brand new Transformers Buzzworthy Bumblebee Autobot Silver Streak. Now, first things first, let's take a look at the packaging. And as you can see, this is the brand new windowless packaging that Hasbro has decided to start putting all of their Transformers figures in. And I absolutely hate this. One, you got to deal with everybody's booger picking fingers touching your figure before you yourself bring him home. Also, it leaves the figure wide open for vandalism. As I showed in this shorts video I made earlier this week. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here, and I wanna give a huge shout out to Hasbro with their great idea of having these windowless boxes. I mean, what can go wrong? Let's see, get in there. Yes, what can go wrong? How many of these are we gonna see on the shelves now? This is just stupid. And big shout out to you assholes who do this. So yes, I am not a fan of this windowless packaging. I'm sure they could have come up with a better idea. But moving on to the box itself, you got some great artwork there of Silver Streak in vehicle mode. Side of the box has RC, Mirage, Bumblebee, and Optimus Prime. This side of the box, you got Silver Streak once again, and definitely different art styles on either side. Back of the packaging, you've got Silver Streak in robot mode and vehicle mode. Transforms in 15 steps, and he is part of Transformers Legacy. So, without further ado, let's get Silver Streak opened up out of this packaging and check him out. I wonder if the windowless packaging is easier to open. Oh, yeah. New packaging, same product. Now, once you get Silver Streak all opened up and now the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions, two shoulder cannons, and one blaster. So let's go ahead and get Silver Streak all armored up and we'll take a closer look at him. Now, Silver Streak here is a straight up repaint of War for Cybertron Earthrise Blue Streak and War for Cybertron Earthrise Prowl. Now, he also has the same body style as Earthrise Barricade and Smokescreen, but those two have completely different heads. These three are the exact same mold. Now, Silver Streak's color scheme is to represent how the figure looked in the Diaclone line from Japan before the figure came over here to the States. And I have to say, I really like how it looks on the Blue Streak mold. I love the navy, the silver, and the black. It just really, really works. And taking a closer look at the head sculpt, fantastic paint applications there on the crest, the silver face, the blue eyes. I dig it. This guy looks awesome, aside from the clear shins, but it doesn't look too bad since it is tinted. Now we'll bring in Blue Streak for a little bit of comparison here so you can see the two side by side. And I think that really, really works. Though it does crack me up that this is Silver Streak, the blue guy, and Blue Streak is the silver guy. But what are you going to do? I love this mold. And I think these guys are going to look really good on the shelf together. So now let's take a look at Silver Streak in vehicle mode. In vehicle mode, Silver Streak looks great. And the vehicle is also very true to the Diaclone collar scheme. I love it. He looks so good, aside from the translucent windows. I'm not a big fan because you can look through and see all the robot junk there on the inside. 
I do like the fact the windows are tinted. They don't look so bad on the back and the sides, but still, you got that hinge right there. Autobot logo on the hood. He's got the darkened in headlights, the grill, the wheels. They're the clip-on wheels, but they don't look bad because they are all black. Now, of course, you can add Silver Streak's weaponry right there on the roof and here on the side. So you now have vehicle mode all armed and ready for battle. And I don't really like the white for the weapons. It's just, it's too bright. I like the gray of Blue Streak much better. And speaking of Blue Streak, here he is to compare to Silver Streak. Now, as I said earlier, my Blue Streak has been enhanced thanks to Toy Hacks decals. You can tell, of course, by the windshield. And I can't wait to see what Toy Hacks can do for Blue Streak. So all in all, if you're a fan of this mold, you're going to dig this figure. Now, as much as I complain about Hasbro with their windowless boxes, I really have to commend Hasbro for bringing the Diaclone colors back. That is a definite love letter to G1 fans. I mean, that's pre-G1, and I just love it. It gives new collectors, plus it's old collectors who never really had any of the Diaclone figures, to experience more modern versions of them. Now, is this figure for everybody? Eh, it depends. If you love the mold, you are going to love the figure. As I showed earlier, Silver Streak is going to look great on the shelf with Blue Streak and Prowl. I mean, I love how all these guys look together. I mean, they're the Dotson brothers. So there you go, guys. Transformers, Buzzworthy, Bumblebee, Silver Streak. Now, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!